leaders so i wanted to share with you hetzner uh cosmo had referred this to me and i was you know it takes a little bit of time to set up but that's why i'm here to kind of set this all up I, it took me a few days almost a week just to figure out how to set up a uh, a server so it's worth it once you learn how to do it because it's such it's so low uh, it's like 30 bucks a month for like eight cores and 32 gigabytes of ram and it's pretty amazing so uh, with that, you'll be able to do more bots, but also you can then, you know, rent smaller servers, like, as well as, like, $5, so that you can run your sim, and then another one to run your live C, and then have a third one that just hosts your, your bots. So, it's possible because, like, it's just so cheap, right? So, all, you can run the whole thing for less than, like, 40, 50 bucks. Before, with green server, it was $70 just for that uh, one, and it was just only four cores. Uh, but and only eight gigabytes of RAM for me, so I was like, yeah. So it's just totally no brainer to do this. So let's go ahead and switch over and show you how to do that. All right. So uh, once you uh, you're gonna have to apply for an account. Once you're you have an account, you want to log into the cloud. Uh, I also have a dedicated server, and that's the one I'm gonna use for my personal computer. Instead of buying a laptop, I'm using a uh, <laughs> a dedicated VPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my entire pause to here as far as the location goes it probably doesn't matter but i noticed that i had some issues with some other ones it was just weird so i just kind of went with nuremberg that will get the best one here eight cores 32 gigabytes of rams 250 gigabytes and you get some more traffic so i'm just going to call this um uh, let's call this my trade server and you can name whatever you want okay um it's gonna go from there. Right. So let's go ahead and create that. And what's great is that whatever you do, you can actually upgrade to whatever you want later on. Give it some time to create, and it's actually less than like 10 seconds. Those will let be advertised, uh, and your server is pretty much ready to go. So there you go. It's a green light. Server is ready. Let's go ahead and go to ISO images. We want to mount. Uh, Windows 2012 it's on page 4 and I'm going to do English okay. now I don't think there's any extra charges for oh I don't want to rush um, yeah I've already mounted that so now that once it's mounted you then want to reboot your uh, server by powering it off After you power off, you then power back on. And um it's a call green green server which I was using before actually charge you an additional ten dollars to go on Windows twenty twelve and it's pretty pretty much included here. So yeah, it's just it's such a no brainer. And they hit the console. And then you hear. Now once you're here you have to make sure you hit this control alt delete. This is the biggest problem I had that took me a week <laughs> was uh, the YouTube videos didn't really show me this alright so click all control delete to reboot and then click any key push a button on your keyboard and then boot up the file so think about uh, how this is kind of like your, your DVD-R drive or CD-ROM drive but it's probably your DVD-R DVD-ROM and you kind of put a disk there by mounting it okay and then so just pretend you put the disk in, you loaded it, and you booted up your computer. Now it's blowing it from your uh, your, your DVD directly, <clears throat> or your DVD ROM. And just give it a few, uh, you know, minutes to load up. And then we're gonna step to the process. It. And the process is actually pretty quick because it's such an awesome, fast server here. You see your Windows logo. It's gonna start to load up. And then once you're in, you're gonna have to set up remote desktop, uh, kind of manually and stuff. But uh, let me, in the meantime, while that's loading up, let me pull up the manual so I can kind of follow along and kind of guide you there if you need some assistance. I'm gonna go ahead and Google uh, Hetzner uh, Cloud Windows or something like that. And there should be this. Uh, oh, that's not it. Listen here, the wiki. Alright, 
and then this is the the outline of what to do. And I'm gonna step you through this. Okay. All right. So let's go back to my uh, thing. Let that load in. Is the loading? All right. So basically, we're gonna be installing some drivers here. Uh, we're gonna step in through to the point where we get to this. Uh, so just remember balloon that KVN deal scuzzy and we already did this uh, Windows whatever 2016 and we're doing Windows 2012 do Windows 2012 because the 42 works the best on there uh, less lag the UIs works really good uh, 2016 not so much so just stick with 2012 R2 okay all right let's go ahead and uh, check on that. I'm going to go ahead and pause this for now while I uh, wait for this to boot up. Alright, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Install it now. Alright. It's pretty exciting stuff to uh, be able to have so much power for so cheap. <laughs> Alright, so we want to make sure we get the one with the GUI. Now, I don't know if there's a extra charge with the data set. I know it's like an extra hundred bucks that uh, green server charges. I'm going to go ahead and try it myself because that's what I actually have on my VPS data server. Hopefully, they don't charge me a little extra, but it uh, should be good to go. I think it's all included. I think I tried doing it one time and it didn't let me, but let me try it again. And then custom install advance. And so this is where you load the driver now. And then when you load the driver, you can then kind of take the, the other DVD off, which is uh, this one here. But you need to then uh, mount your teal. So we're going to mount that. So remember, so that kind of takes the, the Windows 2012 DVD off and now puts the virtual in. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go back over here and we're going to browse to the DVD that's the virtual. And under balloon is one of the files. 2012 R2 and the MD file. Hit next. Load that up. And the next one is net KVM. Load that again. Browse. KVM, the version that we're installing, 2012 R2, AMD, boom, oh. next. Alright. And, hmm. Yeah, and the thing is about, you know, I, I wanted to get a dedicated server too, but for dedicated servers, uh, they don't offer Windows 2012 or they don't support it. So we're going to have to stick to the cloud for now. And then the last one is the VSCSI VL SCSI 2012 AMD. So once that's done, we then delete this partition. Yeah, delete the partition. Okay. And then we hit new. And it's gonna give us the you know our total supply that we have that we have purchased. Okay. And then we're gonna format this. Okay, so but before we do that, we need to then take off the other DVD and load back our windows. 2012 English, mount that back up. Alright, so you can imagine we put our Windows 2012 DVD on the DVD ROM. And then we're gonna go back over here and now we're gonna format it. Okay. So that's gonna continue the install now on this partition. And I think it's gonna maybe yeah, I think this might be the windows or whatever, but anyways, hit next. 
Alright, so I'm gonna pause this now while this loads. Alright, so I just pulled this up. Uh, I found this new prices for Windows licenses. Uh, 2012 R2 is 130 bucks. So I will probably not go for that now. So just remember when you watch this video, uh, just get the standard edition. It's good to go. I'm gonna probably uninstall it and kind of start all over and uh, get the standard version instead or kind of reinstall um, or kind of reboot it from a, a, a the 2012 instead okay so all right so now it's gonna it's just finished uh, it's gonna restart now uh, let me hit the button restart all right so now it's gonna boot from the cd we, we don't want to do that we just want to boot it from um from what was already installed And then we're gonna step through and uh, set up our password. Finish. And we're now in. It's gonna hit Control Alt Delete right there. And it's gonna log right in. And now we're in. So now on, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up the remote desktop. Uh, but that's uh, I'm going to break it up so that uh, it's a little easier to, to watch. All right, thanks.